Hi everyone, welcome back. You're probably looking at the screen wondering where the guessing game went. Well, it's still over here. Uh, I've opened this new window because what we're going to do next is create some random numbers. And to create random numbers, we have to import a module. Uh, here we have number 10. We don't want that, we want that to be random. So we're going to use the random module in order to change this number every time the program runs. But I didn't want to show it to you in this, I wanted to show you in a separate file so you can just see it isolated, how it works, and we can talk about it in some more detail. Now, if you have watched the part in the video series on modules, then you understand all the next part, you can skip over it and whatever you want. But uh, if you haven't, this part is going to be a little new to you. So a module, really all a module is, is just a Python file. So I've actually opened up here the library folder, it's the lib folder of Python, and all, all these files in here are modules. So there's a keyword, line cache, locale, mac path, and that's a, in your Python 3.4 directory under lib, you're going to see all of this stuff. So all of these are individual modules and you can import stuff from them and use the information in that module. So date, time, and decimal, uh, we've got, let's see what else is in here, pickle, <laughs> pickle is a, uh, well, we'll talk about that later, you got Q, and then we have random, and this is actually the one we want, we are going to import this, and we're going to use one of the, the tools in here, the functions, the, really it's a method, in order to get random numbers. And you can open this up if you want. It opens up just like a random, uh, just like any other file, not a random file. Uh, and it's usually gonna be pretty big and there's a lot of code in it. And there's a lot of stuff you have no idea probably what's actually going on. And that's okay, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I really don't know. If I went through this, it would take me a long time probably to break down all the stuff they're doing and kind of figure out uh, what you want. Uh, what we're going to use, though, is we're going to use one thing from this, and then later on I'll actually go into a lot more detail on random and all the different stuff that's in here. Uh, we're going to use, from this, we're going to use this random int method, okay? So this random int method, uh, what this does is it will return a random integer from this number to this number, including both endpoints. Okay, so that seems pretty useful, right? Random int is something that we want to use because our number needs to be between 1 and 100. Okay, so how do I get this in here? How do I use this inside my program? Well, you have to use the, you have to use import. Import says, so import, okay, uh, we want to import random int. Now I can't just import random mint, I need to say from random import random mint. So what this is saying is it's saying from the random module and the random module is the module that is the file that we just looked at. So this file here is the random module and it knows to look for that because it's in this folder. Okay? If it's in this folder, you can import it just like this. Otherwise, you have to use a different way to import it. If it's in your same folder that your program's running in or another folder, you can also use it. Uh, so we're gonna import from random, we're gonna import random in. So from random, import random in. You alternatively could import all of random and then you could access these by typing random.randint, okay? But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just import rand int just like this and let's go ahead and see what this does so let's uh let's print rand int 1 to 10 and let's see what happens when i run this okay i get a 3 now let's run it again i get an 8 a 9 6 3 7 3 2 oh so 3 10 7 and so on okay and if i actually put this in a for loop for i in range 0 to 20 and I printed out all of these things. Uh, if I go ahead and run this, I get 20 random numbers all printed out. Okay, so this is a, a pretty useful little, little function for us to use, is randomint. 
And we're going to take this. I'll uh, we'll just retype it in the other one. And we're going to put it up here. So from random import rand int. And when we start the program, we want rand int 1 to 100. Okay, so that's the, exactly the amount of numbers we want. Um, the thing is, is when we are playing the game, we also down here have number 10. So I, once again, I want rand int 1 to 100. And that will be the exact same thing. So this is really it. That's all for this this video is just that little bit. So when we run this program, even even the user, even you, won't know what number it is. So if I run this, pops up what number. I have no idea what number it actually is. So I'm going to start with 50, and it's too low. So then I'm going to jump up to 75. Oh, wow, I got it on two tries. So let's try again. Yes. What number am I thinking of? We'll start with 50 again. It's too high. 25. Still too high. Let's go 12. Too low. Um, I don't know. 18. Too high. Maybe 14. 15. 16. Ah, oh, 17. That time I got it in eight tries. All right. So program works just fine. There are a lot of different things you actually can import as well. Uh, from random, there's many different things you can do. I'll give you a quick example here. Uh, so from random, import random. What does this do? Well, random itself, if you just run this, it gives you a number between 0 and 1. So if you need a, a random decimal number, this is the way to go. If you need a random int number, you want to use this random int. All right. So lots of different things you can do with random, lots of different random numbers, uh, ways you can get them, whether it's random decimal numbers, random floats rather, or random integers. Okay, so I suggest playing with this. Uh, you can mess around with the code a little bit, break it, try to fix it, expand on it. Uh, some options might be to, uh, down here, make another random number and we could make it the mocking random number and you could say random int one two three and then you can make an if statement and say if mock is equal to one then print too low moron try again and you could do that for each one yeah, else uh, elif rather uh, mock is equal to two and so on okay so play around with it see what you can do and I will see you in the next project or I'll see you back in the series. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it on YouTube or on the website. Thank you. Bye.